Here is the right leg of the sasabi. Very, very sturdy and hard. Very, very. Uh, slightly giving it a bit of weight. So I'm listening. Oh shit! I'm listening to. Uh, that was a guy. Uh, listening to Double Toasted podcast, so you hear some of the audio. I'm gonna do a build up of this leg part, except for this one. I already done this one here, which is the foot. Well, today's uh, date is the second of January two thousand and seventeen. It has been one or two months since I built or uh, done this one here. So I was in Kale, stuck in Kale, doing some work or uh, not work uh, things for my for my channel. So these are the parts for the leg, except for the foot. So so quite a number of parts. So I'm gonna build it live. Not wearing any shirt. So, you might see some nipple action. <coughs> Don't need this one. Instruction, very important. Let's see. Mm, white leg. It's not what, what leg is that? Left leg. Where's the right leg? I think it's this one. Uh, ah, this is actually the base. You have to have this one to build the rest of the leg. So you start from the from the foot. And you build your way up. So let's see. Uh, on my SD card, I got 17 minutes. <coughs> let's see how it goes. La la la. So from here, hello. Uh, what's it do? Uh, okay. Q thirteen. Do you know who this is? Uh. Where? Is it Lance? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's me. Honey, Manila, did I say your name right, Manila? Yeah. So there's a couple of things you should know. There is a piston at the back here. This piston is not one piece, it's actually two. They could have color separated it, like putting some silver on this lower piston here, or some other gold on this upper piston here. So I better not uh, have the distraction of the podcast. So there is a piston there, but once you put slap in the armor, which is This one here, slap on the armor, you can't see anything at all. It'll be all. You want to see the piston, you have to disassemble all of these things. Then there are lots and lots of parts here. The armor, it's very complicated to. Yeah, it's raining out there, so. Yeah. It's raining out there, it's very. What is it? 8 a.m. now? It was 8 a.m. So, so many parts to disassemble just to look at the piston, so it's not gonna happen once you slap in the armor. It's a nice detail, it's a master grade. You must be getting the your money's worth of engineering and design. So a nice touch. Very nice touch indeed. So the back there is a piston, but the front there there is no piston. It's just this piece here. This one is just nothing. It looks like a piston but it's actually nothing. It's not like the master grade Zaku, you know. It has a piston in front of the foot and the back of the foot, which was awesome. And the Zaku uh, is different from this Sasabi leg. The Zaku is very easy to just take out the armor and expose the the pistons. This one, good luck. (coughs) 
Okay, now I know what to do next. Uh, what can you see? Okay, let's see. Very the simple. We grab this gray piece here, which is the trust truster. And this yellow piece here, which is not the truster, but it's inside of the truster. So inside of the thing is yellow in color for the trusters. <coughs> Next up, this piece here. There is something here. This is the front trusters of the foot, I think. Which is kind of weird. So just slap it in, like so. Okay, satisfying click. This is it, the truster here is for within this, you know, this part here. There's a yellow piece here. Nah, that's the one, the truster. Why would it be in front of the foot? No idea. Maybe it wants to burn off its own toes. I don't know. <coughs> Next up, the inner, inner part. You see, the inner part of this thing here. This front piece here. Look at the color separation. There's maroon and red. Two color tone. Two tone color. Two color tone. Ah, forget. This uh, silver here, I painted it with the marker. So, I give it a more, more color separation. Actually, this part here, the knee, you can paint it silver if you want to, to give it more variety of color. So just slap it in like so. Very easy to click on. And now we slap in the armor in front of it. <coughs> First off is uh, this part here, which goes in front of this part here. Very easy. There's a hole there. Slide it in. Until you can see the silver part here, which I painted it. Oh, fuck. Normally, when it comes to like Gundam YouTubers, when you're doing a work in progress, but my work in progress is the whole video itself. <laughs> that uh, they will have a camera on top, and you can see everything, or the camera in front. If you are Zaku Arulius. One of the YouTubers that I like, and of course there's a Chinese fella. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell he's saying because he's speaking in Chinese, but uh, his video is pretty good. You can uh, don't need to buy any toys. You just see his videos and you'll be satisfied. Of course, the fun in Gundams is building it yourself. So this one goes on top like so, <coughs> and there you have it, the fun part of the foot armor like so trust to reveal the trust <coughs> excuse me to reveal the trust this this part here so one part done now is the back part this silver part here which is here this inner side inner part this is the part okay it's silver, not the silver silver or the mirror silver, but just nice silver. Two parts, uh, two parts here to give it a gold uh, red. So like so. <coughs> Normally, when I build my Gundams, I'll be listening to podcasts. From YouTube or what? I'm not sure. The ones that I follow is, uh, of course, Double Toasted. Go and go into their site. <coughs> not just the YouTube, but the DoubleToasted.com. Listen to the funny podcast and other podcasts that I go and and listen to. Is of course CGP Grey. Of course, there's not the regular content, but it's interesting. 
another podcast is uh, from YouTube uh, pertaining to movies and stuff because it's just something to gloss over you just need some talking voices to while away the time while you're building this thing here hopefully it does not distract you too much until you fuck everything up <clears throat> finito next up These ones here, I'm not sure what they are for. It's getting a bit more complicated. So here, aha, there's some piston action. There's some pistons. So let's see. This is a piston. Goes. Okay, the top and the bottom is the same design so up or down no problem no consequences like so and the other one the other one has slapped in some some polycaps <clears throat> one big polycap here just slide it in so, yep, and another polycap here, which is here, and voila, and slap both of them together. The problem with uh, pirated kits is, once you slap them together, it's whoa, super hard to actually uh, separate them again. So, you'll be... You know the male and the female sockets. Uh, yeah, it will be stressed. It becomes white. That's the problem with TT Hongli. This is Daman model, so I expect something better. But it does happen that it's so hard to. Once you fuck something up and you fo and you forgot to put the polycap in, then you want to take it out, separate the pieces. Good luck with that. So we're gonna slap them together. Hopefully. Align them properly, the piston. <coughs> Viola. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is one. This is for the. I'm not sure actually. Uh, this is for the knee. There should be a. Like so. This knee here, there's a piston in here. Uh, wow, the piston will be so covered you can't see it. Never mind. So, this is the piston thing. Go inside here again. I prefer it to be color separated, give it a bit of silver, most likely for the whole part which is up here and this part here can remain grey because if this part here is silver then the silver will be worn out by the piston action oh yeah now I remember what this is for actually the piston here moves up and down when you when you bend the knee not say that you're getting married or succumbing to other forces back in the medieval ages of King Arthur and whatnot. You can see it actually if I bend it. I if I bend this you will see the piston. But the problem with this is once you bend it and you want to straighten the knee, the pistons when it's okay, let's say this is the piston, right? Once you bend it it will become like longer and longer. But once it's bent really well the knee, the pistons will be slightly not straight. It will be like so. And once you want to once you want, once you want to straighten the knee, it will be stuck. The piston cannot go back inside like so. So you have to take a tweezer and either pull it front or pull pull it back, so that it will be aligned straight again and it can straighten up itself the leg and the piston works again. So that's the problem. So I'm gonna show you the piston. Like I'm gonna bend it more and more and more and more and more, and that's the piston. 
yeah you can see the piston yes it's inside the knee so you can see the piston so it would be nice to actually have some color separation unfortunately this is all gray <coughs> so that's the piston that you saw when the knee was being bent so this is one and this black <coughs> This black piece here with a silver that I painted it myself, but there's no point. And I see it actually. I hope you can see the silver here when you bend it. It's not covered by the by the armor, but it's covered. The silver piece, a uh, silver part that I painted, is covered when it's straightened. So put this in front, like so. Yeah, put this in front. Okay, finish, 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 and next up, this piece here. Oh, was it the other piece? This piece, I think. So the left and right leg is the same. It's only when the armor gets slapped in that both it that is really important to follow the. Uh, the rules, the instructions. Oh, there's a hole there that I need to align it to. Uh, fuck. Okay, follow the instructions. Right, so, <coughs> push it the piston. Push the piston inside and voila. Ah shit. Don't put the piston in yet. Actually. Ah fuck. I was stuck. That's the problem. Okay. Like so. Pray to God that you don't need to disassemble this again because it's going to be very tightly slapped together. Okay. Ta da! So, now what? Does it move? It's hard to move it when it's just one big piece. Oh. Wow, it's tight. God, it's going to be difficult to bend the knee here. Oh, fuck, okay. so tight. Uh, okay, never mind. Fuck it. Yep, now I can open or bend it. And you can see that uh, piston there. 
very long piston I'll push it oh, now I want so now it's in the bending position right the knee here this is the knee then this is the lower part of the body I can't push it back or straighten up the the knee, the leg skeleton because you can if you look at it properly you can see the piston is not straight it's like so it's not straight like this one it's bent like so so I have to push it out push it out so it can go back inside so what to do is just use this tweezer here and like pull it out push it out a bit hopefully it'll align itself and surely okay no, it's not happening it's not pushing itself pull it out slightly and hopefully it will bend back inside yep it's bending back inside so that's one of the problems it's not only for this unit it's for every unit zaku same shit anything with piston it's always this problem that type of this type of engineering is is of course i'm not sure about the bandai this one is a problem pistons are always a problem when it comes to all this uh, Chinese ones. Bandai, I'm not sure. Should have the same problem actually. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh fuck! Oh. Oh fuck. <clears throat> oh fuck. Fuck 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 fuck. I've fucked up. I've really fucked up. Oh, now I have to separate this goddamn thing. Oh god. Okay, you look at the fucking instructions. Okay. See, just now I've uh, done this part here. But in actual fact, you're supposed to put this Q13, which is... A. This Q13 here, this part here. You're supposed to go into this one first. Then you slap in all the extra stuff. And then you... Fuck. fuck 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 what kind of fucking stupid bandai fuck you bandai fuck you in the ass you stupid asshole god damn it i don't read chinese or japanese so now i have to separate the damn thing you understand what not? god damn it why put this in front here where it seems like oh uh, please put them together then after that it's already separate again thank you very much bandai fuck you bandai god fucking damn it I'm not doing this on purpose, man. Nobody wants to separate things that they have really like snapped inside tightly together. Fuck. Fuck you, Bandai. Fuck you. In the ass. Shit. God damn it. Ugh. Is there a way I can salvage this? Uh, nope, no way of salvaging this stupid fucking Bandai's fuckery, dumb fuckers, oh god, oh shit, how am I gonna... Oh, hmm. Interesting, indeed. Interesting. So blue would be fucking. I don't have any thinner, so I can't melt the plastic. So. Okay, so what's happened is, this part here, there's a small little part that's broken up from this part here, 
and there's this you know you see the white pieces the ones that is the plastic that has been st stressed <clears throat> so this part here is a colossal failure this one here has been well broken so at least it came out quite easily thank you Bandai but fuck your ass you stupid fuckers make your God damn instructions more clear next time, will ya? You fuck face. Ah, uh, fuck you. Next, put the. Ah, uh, fuck. <sighs> well, let's see whether it works or not. Uh. Instructions are not clear, asshole. So next, uh, put the front guard here into this part here. Uh, put this back part here into the back part. Like, uh, where's the back part? Instructions, uh, I mean, it's not clear at all. So, fuck you, Bandai. Fuck you. Put it back here. And voila. The armor is on. So, should I slap it onto the unit itself? Yes, I will. Is the instructions clear? I hope so. So, there's a big hole here, goes into this piece here and uh, it'll slap on the broken pieces together so like so thank you very much fucking Bandai fuck you so inside like so voila like so now that's the problem with uh, Chinese plastic, it breaks easily. So is that all? That's all, yeah? Okay. Okay, you can see the piston here. Yeah, nice piston. And this piece here is just slapping on together, even though it's broken as fuck. Let's hope it works. So, okay, a bit of thinner in the other pegs would help immensely, but once you put in the thinner that melts the plastic, uh, you won't be able to take out the plastic or separate the plastics anymore. Voila, yes, okay, it is, I think, sturdy, hopefully. So you look at here, there's a piston here, we can't see anything at all, but it does move. Yeah, there's a piston in the back of the heel, cool, eh? But uh, now it's time to cover that lovely detail with lots and lots of armor. So next up, you have the thrusters here with three small little... Oh, fuck. I think I might be missing a truster, a yellow truster which is gone. Maybe it's on the floor, maybe maybe it's gone forever. Uh, who cares? Uh, I got only two yellow trusters here, so I'm gonna like populate it with just two. Uh, like to do gunpla and it flies off anywhere or if you have a nephew small kid five-year-old they come into your room and they fuck things up that's what happens sometimes but uh yeah you can't see the trusters much excuse me so this is the completed version 
trusses are inside there you can see the lovely trusses so this is missing one yellow part inside that's all <clears throat> and this one here stick it together like so yep next up next up is for the tie part okay I have to look at the instructions well because I don't want to get fucked in the ass by Bandai so we have these two here ah now I have to look it did properly the left leg part now it's not the, I was more spe specific left leg uh, this one here. this one here poly cap which is the big poly cap here dump it in like so the other one here there's a cover Q22 which is this one here cover it up like so I think. yeah cover the hips up with a small cap like so then slap them together like so So if you have a, if you have money, do go and buy Bandai products. The plastic is much better. It's sturdier, harder, and very, very takes a lot of effort just to snip it off from the tree or the sprue or whatever you call those things. Okay, okay, uh, make sure that I won't get any fuckery happening. Okay, no fuckery. So I can slap them together. Oh. Oh, fuck. I was stuck. That's how tight it is, you know. When you hear those clicks. When you do Bandai, it's very easy, it's just slides in without click click click, just slides, especially when there's a hole and the cock meets together, it slides in but it's very hard, that's sexual, but it's very tight, now that's sexual again, fuck. So anyway I say it, it's sexual, it can be taken as a sexual context thing. So yep, the inner frame of the tie is in. Uh, you can use a you know pincer and and really like tighten it together. It's up to you. This one would definitely leave a mark, so do not use this. But uh, this one is not not a Bandai product. Ah, forget. It. Just leave it. Do the gap, just in case there's some fuckery happening, and it, some problems with the design. Next, uh, it says instruction bended. Not sure why, and stuff in the thrusters while it's bent. What? Why? Oh, just slide it in actually. Just slide the thrusters, slide thrusters inside like so, and push it in. It's simple stuff for the thrusters like so. Simple shit. So thrusters can open up and expose the thrusters something like that. I think I haven't actually tested it, but I think you can like see the thrusters uh, when your armor separates or op you open up the armor that makes it really awkward without the third thruster which I lost. 
Uh, not sure whether this is the one or not. Maybe no. Uh, maybe this is the one. Isn't no no no. I lost that one. Fuck. Thank you very much. Life. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. Ho ho sucks. Yes, you see my nipples. B one thirteen. I don't have that. It's gone. There are no extra parts on the B one thirteen. Fuck. God damn it. And of course, if you want to make your life easier, you see those things. Uh, those there's there are a couple of cardboards from. Uh, if you buy all these uh, Japanese, not Japanese, Chinese products, so I ban all the flat boards that sometimes comes with the Chinese boxes or Chinese Gundams, and cut them like so, glue them together, and it's a triangle sprue holder, so it's easier for me. The yellow ah, there it is. Fuck. Oh, I love some. Love that. Oh. Uh, there it is. God damn it. Is that vagina beautiful? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Let's see here. Just dump it in. So, and completo. Next. Uh huh. Next is uh, this thing here, and some. Wait. Make sure it's the right page. Don't fuck things up. So you surely you will encounter some broken uh, broken ass. Oh wait wait wait. There's this one is for the knee. So the knee first. Uh, this one here goes to the front of the knee. That's a, like a cover for the black part here, the knee. I'm not sure why they in engineered it like so. So it's kind of like weird and stuff. But you just have to slide it in. There's a hole inside. It's quite simple and. It's simple to put in and it's simple or easy to come out too. So as I said earlier, with the marker here which is called Platinum from Japan, you get get it from Daiso, it's 5 ringgit and 30 cents, 5 ringgit and 30 cents in Malaysia. That's roughly about slightly a bit more than 1 US dollar. So this one here, I want to like, it's, I don't want it to be all grey, I just want it to be a bit silver. So, So I'm gonna like silverize this part here. You can see it. So it's like color separated. Easy. This one here is gonna be difficult because the armor is slapped on already. So how to remove the armor? I put this here to dry. And remember to avoid those areas that. You can use your hobby knife, this one here, the sharp one, to separate it, but it's gonna like tear out the pointy part, the very sharp part. Of course, this one I got from Daiso, and the replacement uh, knives is very cheap. Also, 5 ringgit 30 cents. This is 5 ringgit 30 cents. The blades are 5 ringgit 30 cents as well, which is this one here from Daiso. I'm not sure whether they are still selling this or not, but this one is bought, always bought about uh, two years ago or three years ago. I'm not sure. Daiso is a cheap uh, shop that has quality goods. It's not like the others. This is good quality stuff. Daiso actually, I think they outsource, of course, the material and I mean, they select the factories in Japan, uh, not in Japan, in China, make sure it's quality stuff and uh, they sell it in their shops, it's good stuff, 
cheap but good. It's still what how many left? Two or two new blades left, and here there are ten blades. So sometimes when you are not doing gunpla, it's best to cover up with this thing here, but no, don't put too much force because this plas plastic cover for this knife is uh, of course two pieces and if you <coughs> by force you know you got to be ginger with this because I you don't want the cover to actually like separate break after some time and you'll be having a whole blade within your your palm situation which is kind of like very gruesome like and that can happen so be careful with this fucker because it's fucking sharp so don't uh, oh my god I got a, a a knife between the not a knife not an arrow to the knee but a hobby knife through the bloody palm of your hands careful with that man so if you're not doing gunpla if you like you are like me you go off go to somewhere far away and you won't return for a few months it's best to cover it up don't leave it exposed like so because of safety reasons and also because Malaysia is very humid it's going to fuck this up because it becomes very corroded or rusted and once it's rusted it won't be that pretty looking and maybe not that sharp too so cover it up get it uh, not exposed to the environment too much this is not vacuum seal okay but at least it helps a bit in prolonging the life of your hobby knife which I'm not using now because I already like cut out cut everything out of the sprue or the tree which is this thing this is called a sprue or a tree or whatever runner it's called a runner too uh, and I already like cut off the nubs of course you can see the all the nub marks if you want to do a perfect looking Gundam you have to cement it I means slap all the armor together and you guys get to see a seam lines between the two slap together plastic you want to remove the seam line so you put cement here and slap it together push it together very well it the plastic melts and it'll be staying on forever as a one piece plastic so and after that you have to sand it down make sure it's flat then you have to paint it uh, maybe flat coat I don't know should prime it with some grey color or something then you put in your real color and it will look fine for f but for the purposes of this review or whatever I do seam lines will be quite apparent like this one here this is a seam line I not think I wait there is a design to it actually but never mind where's another seam line that you can show off nah fuck it who cares about seam lines but this is quite heavy okay what's next uh, oh yeah I'm supposed to oh yes I'm lost in my my narrative I almost forgot to color this thing uh, excuse me get something sharp in and separate this damn thing out of the way oh, fuck. okay I separate it uh, slightly a bit hopefully it won't touch the red pieces hopefully Ah, shit, touch a bit already. Not a lot, but just a bit. Just a tip. You know, after watching uh, sausage, sausage Party, just love saying the phrase, just a tip. It's a sexual and people who haven't watched the movie will not get the reference at all. So, that's it. Next up, some bloody fucking shit things to slap together so get a Daiso I mean get the silver and gold I had, to, I had to buy another set of gold and silver from Daiso in KL because I wanted to do some gunpla in KL
I'm gonna take a shit actually. <sighs> okay, now this one here and this one here, slap together like so. Not sure about these pieces. These small pieces here will be covered by a bigger piece, which is the outer armor. So within the inner armor, there is this small little piece here. Hey, I'm confused now. Fuck it, I'm gonna take a dump. Never do a gun plow. Never do gun plow when you want to go to shit because you hurry things up and you fuck things up.